Today I'd like to read for you Walt Disney's The Princess Who Never Laughed. There was once a princess who never laughed. She never even smiled. The king brought clowns to the castle. One made funny faces at the princess. Another stood on his head. One tickled her nose with a feather. Still, the princess did not laugh. Near the castle lived a poor woman and her son. The son had his own way of doing things. If his mother told him to wash carrots, he scrubbed them on a washboard. He was such a funny fellow that people called him Goofy. One day, Goofy's mother looked in the cupboard. There was barely enough food for the mice. Goofy, said his mother, we have nothing but stale bread for supper. Go to the castle and ask for a job. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I'm on my way. When Goofy reached the castle, he saw the princess sitting at her window. Goofy smiled at her, but she did not smile at him. I wonder why the princess does not smile, thought Goofy. Goofy was so busy looking at her that he did not watch where he was going. He tripped on a large stone. His hands went one way, his feet went another way. Goofy landed on his nose with a thud. Now the princess saw this funny sight. Do you think she laughed? No, she did not even smile. At the royal chicken coop, Goofy found a job. He gathered royal eggs all day. When Goofy's work was done, the chicken keeper gave him some fresh eggs. Boy, oh boy, said Goofy, fresh eggs for supper. Away he ran to show them to his mother, but Goofy did not watch where he was going. He tripped again on the same stone. His feet went one way, his hands went another way. The eggs flew into the air. Goofy scrambled to catch the eggs. As soon as he caught one, another slipped out of his hands. Crack, whack, splash. Now the princess saw Goofy juggling the eggs, and it was a funny sight. But do you think she laughed? No, she did not even smile. You silly, said Goofy's mother when she heard about the broken eggs. If you had put the eggs in your big hat, you could have brought them safely home. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I will do that next time. The next day, Goofy worked in the royal dairy. All day he milked the royal cows. When Goofy's work was done, the cow keeper gave him a pail of fresh milk. Wow, said Goofy, fresh milk. Away he ran to show it to his mother. At the castle gate, Goofy remembered what his mother had said, so he poured the milk into his big hat. Then Goofy put his hat back on. Swoosh! The milk splashed over him into his ears, down his chin. It even trickled under his collar. Now the princess was in her window and she saw this funny mess. But do you think she laughed? Not the princess. She did not even smile. You silly goose, said Goofy's mother when she heard about the milk. If you had carried the pail in your hands, you could have brought the milk safely home. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I will do that next time. All the next day, Goofy worked feeding the royal pigs. When his work was done, the pig keeper gave him a wiggly little piglet. A royal piglet, cried Goofy. He could hardly wait to show his mother. Remembering what she had said, he tried to carry the piglet in his hands. But the wiggly piglet was slippery. It wiggled out of Goofy's hands. The piglet ran through a mud puddle, Goofy splashed through the mud puddle too. The piglet ran into a haystack. Goofy went right in after it, but the piglet was too fast for Goofy. It got away. The princess looked out her window. There stood Goofy covered with mud and straw. Do you think she laughed? Not the princess. She did not even smile. That night, Goofy's mother met him at the door. Goofy told her how he had lost the piglet. Ninny, she said, have you no sense at all? If you had held onto the rope, you could have pulled the piglet home behind you. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I will do that next time. The next day, Goofy found a job in the royal kitchen. All day, he washed the royal dishes. When the work was done, the cook gave Goofy a fine fish. 
When Mother sees this fish, said Goofy, she won't be angry anymore. Then Goofy remembered what his mother had said. Carefully, he tied a rope around the fish. Away he went, pulling the fish behind him. When the royal cat smelled the fish, they all came running to get a bite. Goofy's fish was nothing but bones by the time he passed the princess. Do you think she laughed? Not the princess. She did not even smile. That night, Goofy told his mother how he had lost the fish. Nincompoop, she cried. You should have carried the fish on your shoulder. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I promise to do that next time. Bright and early the next morning, Goofy went to the castle. This time, he found a job cleaning the royal barn. He worked hard all day. Goofy did such a fine job that the barnkeeper gave him a royal cow. This cow will make mother rich, said Goofy, but how will I ever get it home? Then he remembered his mother's words. You should have carried the fish on your shoulder. Goofy put his hat on the cow's head. Next, he tied his coat around the cow's neck. Then he got down on his hands and knees and crawled under the cow. Goofy tried to stand up. This cow is heavy, he said. Goofy huffed and puffed. At last, Goofy stood up. Sure enough, the cow was on his shoulders. Now the princess was looking out her window. She saw Goofy coming up the road with his cow. And do you know what happened? She laughed. She laughed so hard her stomach hurt. She laughed so loud her ears ached. She laughed and laughed and laughed. The king could not believe his ears. If that fellow can make the princess laugh, he should be here all the time, he cried. So the king called for Goofy. Will you come to live in the castle, he asked. Sure, I'd like that, said Goofy. If my mother can come too. The very next day, Goofy and his mother came to live in the castle, and there they lived happily ever after.